Hi there folks, welcome back to the channel and we both hope you're all doing really well. Uh, we've came out on this absolutely beautiful autumn day, it's a little bit uh, overcast, a little bit damp, but still beautiful all the same. Um, we thought we'd pop out and show you a couple of saws that uh, I use, I keep with my kit and I take with me on all my camping trips and my little expeditions out in the woods. Firstly we've got the backhoe Laplander and secondly we've got the samurai saw as held by my wonderful <laughs> assistant <laughs> um, firstly we'll take a look at the backhoe laplander as you can see and, and most of you are probably aware of um, it's a folding saw fantastic little bit of kit um, it's got a safety locking device so it can't be pulled that's got to be pressed in order to open it and when it's open like so that's locked so it can't be pushed back down on your fingers which wouldn't be good um, it's a fantastic little bit of kit um, compact easily fits into a pocket easily fits into a side pouch on your rucksack uh, my opinion it's nine inches 23 centimeters i think it is length blade and obviously the same when it's folded um, my opinion is slightly too short for me for my comfort so when i'm sawn i generally tend to um, pull back too far um, do that quite often i've had a couple of these and i've bent the tip on one of them in the past um, hence having to replace it uh, so i mean like myself i would like that to be a little bit longer but still a good saw all the same we'll take a look at the uh, samurai as you can see, the Samurai we'll pick this back up, is a much longer saw. I think this is 330 millimeters in length, the blade itself. Um, comes in this sturdy plastic sheath, which has an attachment there, so it can be clipped onto a, onto a belt, which is pretty useful. We'll take a look at the saw itself. Yep. As you can see, it's got a curved blade and a pistol grip. And having that extra um, length blade, for me, I find it a lot more comfortable when I'm sawing and prepping firewood. Uh, I can process a lot more firewood using this saw than I can with a backhoe. Right, as I'll show you now, this fits in uh, quite snugly in the side of a rucksack. We just slide it down here. And if Claire takes a step forward, and we'll be able to show you that. Can you see that? Is that picking that up, Claire? Yeah. As you can see, sat in there nice and snug. We can just put kit further up there to keep it nice and sturdy. And again, with the back all lander, as we all know, that just fits into a side pouch. It's no problem. So both bits of kit are really easy to transport and take with you on uh, little expeditions. But what we're going to do now, we're going to uh, have a little demonstration of um, how effective these saws are. Um, and as I've said earlier, one of the cons I think with the uh, backhoe laplander is being too short. One thing with, with this one, one of the cons, I think can be, obviously it can clip on to your belt like so, which is perfect, nice and handy, and get on and just get on with tasks. But at times, as you can see, it can dig in the mud there. Is that picking that up? Yeah. It can dig into the mud. Um, so that can be a bit of a, a nuisance. You've got to be mindful of that and swing it out the way at times uh, but yeah all, all good all the same and as we know a laplander can just quite easily fit in a side pocket right firstly we'll demonstrate sawing a piece of wood to length using the back of a laplander so we'll sturdy that piece of wood here and we'll give it a go
say, personally, I'd like that to be a little bit of a longer saw. Right now, we'll try it cut the same wood with this saw. Just like that. Get it nice and sturdy, make sure we're comfortable, make sure we're, we're out the way and not going to get cut. As you can see, much more, less effort with that. But both nice clean cuts, but that uh, is a lot less effort to uh, saw through firewood. So in my opinion, that is probably going to be an ideal saw for taking on camping trips for processing the firewood because you'll uh, get through a lot more without expelling um, half the energy which is always good but yeah Claire's gonna have a little go now see what she thinks good to go Dal we've got Claire demonstrating the saw with this little bit of larch she's making short work of that awesome spot on how'd you find that Good, good. Just it's not a bad little saw, is it? Not keen on this bit. Falling it over. Yeah. yeah. You feel a bit nervous with that in case you get your fingers in the way. Mm. Yeah. Right, do you want to have a try with a samurai? Yeah. Just drag that bit of wood further over and I'll get you the other saw. Yeah, perfect. There you go. Make sure you keep the wood nice and sturdy. Right. What do you think? Do you think that's any more comfortable? Yeah, it seems comfortable. Just like use the use like the full length of the blade right. as well. Yeah, perfect. Bit, yeah, perfect. Go on, you're doing all right. <laughs> now which saw did you find the most comfortable for you? Probably this one. The back all uplander? Yeah. 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 So effort, yeah, it just goes to show that both saws are really good. Fantastic. It's like horses for courses. Yeah. My personal opinion, I prefer the samurai. I can work better with that. But uh, obviously you feel more comfortable with a Laplander. You just get used to putting this up and down. Yeah. It, it can be pretty difficult to press in sometimes. Yeah. yeah you get a bit, yeah. over time they can get a bit stiff. Yeah. Uh, both these saws um, have had roughly about the same um, amount of use. The Samurai's probably been used slightly more than that back off. It's probably processed a little bit more wood. But Claire's having another go. You're just double checking which one you prefer. Yeah. <laughs> hard work, eh? <laughs> <laughs> you still prefer in the back of just thought we'd uh, share with you what saws I take out or we take out when we're camping and whatnot. Um, it isn't a review as such, more of like an overview. Um, my personal preference is the Samurai, mainly because I find the pistol grip really comfortable and I, the extra length in the blade it works best for me. Um, I'm not saying that's a bad saw, I think it's an absolute awesome saw. Um, 
I mean, if it's smaller diameter woods and things like that for little projects for doing your tent pegs and things like that, um, it's absolutely perfect. Um, it's better than nothing. It really is a really good saw. Um, what was your preference? Um, I think I preferred that one for me. Claire's more suited for the back wall uplander. Yeah. Why did you just find it more comfortable? Yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's shorter. It's you shorter. Faster. You could do it faster. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but Claire likes that one. I like that one. That's our um, opinions of it. Um, so I know what Santa's bringing Claire this year for Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, um, we're going to keep this video short. It was like I say, we just thought we'd come out and show you two bits of kit that we use. Um, and we're going to carry on on our little wander and walk the dog because she's uh, enjoying the outdoors. But yeah, thank you very much for watching. We just uh, like to take this opportunity to say to you um, if you're new around here, please subscribe. We really would appreciate it. We're uh, not far from our 800 subscribers um, and once we hit that we've got a fantastic prize for a giveaway. Um, it's an awesome bit of kit, uh, but yeah, nearly 800 which is all good. So thank you everybody who watches the channel and supports us, we really do appreciate it, don't we? Yeah, we do. Um, are you cold? A little bit, yeah. A little bit cold. Yeah. Um, we enjoy getting out and we enjoy doing this. and. It's all good fun, isn't yeah. it? It's all good fun. But yeah, so if you're new around here, please subscribe. Um, please give the video a thumbs up. By all means, please share. And as always, stay safe. And we'll see you on the next one. Bye for now. Bye for now. <laughs>